Assalamualaikum Very good morning to my dear students in SMK Puncak Alam 3 Hello, Teacher Aida Zura is here How are you today? I hope you are doing great As for today, we will be focusing on Unit 2 Lives Great Mysteries Talking about mysteries, have you ever encountered it before? So, let's explore! Do you know that mysterious places in this world are true stories? For example, the Bermuda Triangle Area 55, 51 and Titi Okay, let me tell you a bit about the Bermuda Triangle Area 51 and Titi Hocken The Bermuda Triangle This is a mysterious area of the set of the coast of Florida where thousands of ships and planes have vanished over the centuries. Are the disappearances due to natural disaster, strange magnetic forces, or aliens? Hmm, something to ponder. Next, Area 51. This place is a military base in the USA. Some people believe it is the top secret site where the bodies of aliens and some of their technology were taken after a UFO crashed in Roswell, New Mexico in 1947. Hmm. Last, Titi Huacan. Have you heard about it? You can see in the picture. It's like a pyramid, right? Okay, next. Located near Miss Mexico City, Titihuacan was an important city. People lived there for more than 700 years, but then they left suddenly. We don't know who built it or what they call it. Later, it became important to the Aztecs, who gave it its name, which, according to legend, means the place where the gods were created. So, do you find it interesting? Scary? Eerie? Okay, let's move on. So today's focus is reading lesson 11. Learning objectives. By the end of the lesson, Pupils will be able to read and recognize independently the gist and the writer's attitudes or opinion in the text on A House of Mystery, page 18 in your textbook. Eh? The success criteria. I will be successful if I am able to read the text independently, answer at least 8 MCQs questions correctly, Locate the writer's attitude towards Sarah's Winchester and towards the Winchester Mystery House. Ready? Let's go! Okay. Watch this video to get an idea of the text we are going to read after this. Enjoy the mystery! In San Jose, California, stands one of the largest and most bizarre private residences in the United States. Known as the Winchester Mystery House, this 24,000 square foot Victorian style mansion contains an astonishing 160 rooms, 17 chimneys, 47 fireplaces, two basements, three elevators, and more than 10,000 panes of glass. And those are just the ones we know about. But why? 
The uh, Winchester Mystery House has a very special place. Uh, it was built with no master plan, but there are a lot of architectural oddities that remain a mystery as to why they're here. Most buildings start with some yes. drawings, some blueprints, some documents that say this is what it's going to look like when it was finished. That building looks like they made it up as they went. There are doors that open to 12 foot drops outside. There's doors that if you step through them, you'll land in a kitchen sink on the first floor. It's almost like an Escher picture in some ways. The mastermind behind this architectural jigsaw puzzle was Sarah Winchester. The widow of the man who manufactured the Winchester repeating rifle. It was famously known as the gun that won the West because it could kill more people faster than any gun previously invented. The Winchester rifle was special because it could fire up to 15 rounds without being reloaded, which was very different from most of the smooth bores used in the Civil War, say, which were you loaded it fired one shot and that was it. So you could imagine the advantage that you would have being able to shoot round after round after round without reloading. When Sarah's husband died in 1881, she became the heir to his massive fortune. Three years later, she began construction on a mansion that would take 38 years to complete. She just added things on her. She had a great idea. So everybody had to listen and say, oh, okay, you want a large ballroom up there? And then they'd figure it out as they went. Even to this day, they're still finding new rooms and new features to this house. Was Sarah just working off of her whims? Was she just an eccentric, crazy lady? Or is there some other unknown explanation that we have yet to understand? What if it was built as a giant puzzle, one that protects a vast treasure that still lies hidden behind one of the house's hundreds of walls. Something to ponder. Okay, from the YouTube, you now have some ideas what is the mystery behind the house is it scary who is Sarah Winchester 160 rooms 2,000 doors 1,000 windows 47 staircases 13 bathrooms oh my is it strange eerie or oh, haunted ready to move on okay so now you are going to do reading task page 18 to 19 you are going to read a house of mystery next you are going to do practices 4 and 5 you are given 5 minutes to complete the task all the best Unit 2. Reading A House of Mystery In 1884, heartbroken Sarah Winchester left her home in Connecticut on the east coast of the USA, as well as the graves of her husband and only child, and travelled across the country to California, where a strange obsession awaited her. Did she know that it would last for the rest of her life? When her husband passed away, Sarah inherited the Winchester Gun and Rifle Company, which had made the Winchester family very wealthy. After the deaths of her child and husband, Sarah fell into a deep depression and decided to consult a medium. According to some sources, the medium explained that her family was being haunted by the ghosts of American soldiers and others killed by Winchester rifles. Supposedly, the deaths of her daughter and husband had been caused by these spirits, and Sarah Winchester might be the next victim. The medium said that to keep the ghosts happy, Sarah had to build a huge house for them. As long as she never stopped building the house, her life would not be in danger. 
Sarah left Connecticut for California. There, in 1884, she bought a small, unfinished farmhouse, and over the next 38 years, she employed builders around the clock to add on room after room and story after story. The building work never stopped, not even for weekends or holidays, and it produced the house known today as the Winchester Mystery House. It originally had seven floors, but after an earthquake in 1906, it was reduced to four. Apart from the house's strange architectural features, including a staircase that leads up to the ceiling, doors that open onto walls, and secret passages that run between rooms and behind walls, it was also unusually large. At the time of Sarah Winchester's death, it had 160 rooms, 2,000 doors, 10,000 windows, 47 staircases, and 13 bathrooms. Sarah Winchester had strange habits, too. Apparently, she never slept in the same bedroom two nights in a row because she wanted to confuse any evil spirits that were waiting for her. She also used to visit the blue room at the centre of the house every night to communicate with the good spirits. She would ring a bell at midnight to call them, and again at 2am when it was time for them to leave. She would wear one of 13 special coloured robes and ask them for guidance on her construction plans. A year after Sarah's death, the house was open to the public. Since then, many people have described strange experiences there. Neighbours claim to hear a bell ring at midnight and at 2am. A caretaker heard the sound of a screw slowly turning, then hitting the floor. He looked everywhere but found nothing. Tour guides have reported seeing a ghostly workman with a dark moustache in the basement of the house. Is the house truly haunted? No one can say with any certainty, but it is a fascinating story, and the Winchester Mystery House is still open for visitors who want to find out for themselves. Okay, have you completed the, ex the exercise? Let's check the answers. Practice 4. Read the article again and choose the best answer A, B, C or D. Let's just begin. Number 1. What does it at the end of the first paragraph refer to? Yes, an obsession. It is D. Number 2. According to the medium, why did Sarah's daughter and husband die? Correct! The ghost of gun violence had killed them. Number 3. What did Sarah's first sister find in California? Yeah, good job! A house she could continue to build. B. Next. What are we told about the blue room? Yes, you are correct again. C. She went there to get advice. Number 5. What happened at the house after Sarah died? Correct again. There were unexplained events. Okay, number 5. Circle the correct words. Okay, number 1. An obsession is a strong passion, you feel. A medium makes contact with the people. The word spirit is another name for a goes correct a victim is someone who suffers call a bad experience a passage is a narrow corridor in a building last an accident is an event got it right guys congrats Okay. So, are you successful? Yes, you have read the text independently. You have answered all the eight, MC, eight questions correctly. 
Now the last question to be resolved. Locate the writer's attitude towards Sarah's Winchester and towards the Winchester Mystery House. Before you get the certificate of completion, let us answer these two questions. What is the writer's attitude towards Sarah's Winchester? Yes, the writer thinks that Sarah Winchester was strange. Okay, next. What is the writer's attitude towards Sarah's, uh, sorry, towards Winchester's mystery, mystery house? Yeah, the writer thinks that Winchester mystery house makes a fascinating story. Do you agree? Hmm, something to ponder. Okay, before we end the lesson, here is a question for you to ponder. Is your life a great mystery? Hmm. Sometimes mystery is in us. Do you agree? Send your feedback to me, okay? Thank you. See ya. Teacher Aida Zura is signing off. Take care. Bye. Assalamualaikum.